So once upon a time, running away with the circus or running away in the theater was the most exciting thing you could do to make your parents mad, you know? My foster parent said to me, um, when I, I got the little tiny job, and I, I knew I was right, even at 14, I knew this is what was going to happen to me. And she actually said, if it goes wrong, don't come back. And that's when I found Stratford on Avon was a ghetto. The first job in the theater? Yeah. At Birmingham? Birmingham. Birmingham, Birmingham Rep to Stratford. To Stratford. And she Birmingham said, a holiday. if this job doesn't work, don't, don't come don't back. Don't to come back. And she wasn't joking either. They were, you know. So I thought, I'll show you. But when I got there, I found the most wonderful ghetto. The most wonderful, wonderful ghetto in the world. Because of very peculiar people. Nowadays, I wouldn't be allowed. It wouldn't be allowed. I was underage. There's some very peculiar, like I said, peculiar people of all shapes, sizes, and colours. And by the book, I should be in danger. I wasn't. I was beautifully looked after. I was cared for. I was, and by them too. But they were all incredible individualists. So, do you call theatre a ghetto? Then a wonderful one. That's a, that's a, in my book. That's that's a, um, an admiring thing. Yes, no, no, I, I yeah. hear it as a compliment. I, I, like we, it. I like that Because we looked after our own. Is it a ghetto now? No. What is it now? Oh, I don't know. It depends which theatre you go to. Here? Um, uh, here's difficult. I don't know. I've been away for four or five years. I don't know. Um, I come across wonderful pockets of incredible uh, warmth and... Oh, Um, sorry, um, heart-stopping things, you know. 